mention each other, to let the American people know these sharp differences between us. And if I have misinterpreted what he said, so be it. It's important that we get back to the basics. It is important. If we can do that, maybe we can solve our problems easier. Right. I'm determined this last 26 or 27 days, what it is, to be sharp in my accurate description of the differences between us and to spell out those issues. Yesterday, a television station in uh, Tampa, Florida, invited me and Governor Reagan to a joint televised appearance tomorrow. The reason is, coincidentally, that both of us will be in Tampa. Same day. They invited us to be cross-examined by reporters, maybe even in separate rooms. I, I, I don't know the exact details. I accepted immediately, just like I accepted the League of Women Voters' invitation to debate Governor Reagan and then later to debate him and Anderson both. I understand that he's turning it down. I hope that Governor Reagan will accept the invitation of that Tampa TV station to debate me tomorrow. I would be very eager to do it. It's unfortunate that he has decided not to debate. You have probably noticed lately that he is very cautious. He doesn't have town hall meetings like this. He doesn't have press conferences anymore. He's very cautious about what he says. So I'll have to reserve the right, even though I'm going to be very careful to be both accurate and not attack him as a person, to spell out the sharp differences between me and him. And I'll try to do it in such a way that'll make you proud of me. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank That's you. That's what I want to be. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Let me say one other thing, a brief one-minute statement. We've gone a little bit over time. Our country's got problems. Our country faces critical choices. One of the most critical will be on November the 4th. I'm not going to make a campaign request here, but let me point this out. The situation in our nation now is much better than we generally are willing to acknowledge. God has blessed this country with material wealth, with material wealth, with strength, with unity, and with peace. Think back on a time when James K. Polk was running for president, or Andrew Johnson was running for president, Andrew Jackson was running for president. The Revolutionary War, the Civil War, World War I, World War II, the divisive Vietnam War, the Civil Rights Revolution, you might call it, the embarrassments of Watergate, the Great Depression, a lot of you ex experienced some of those things. They were troublous times, much worse than the times we live in today. But in every one of those times when the country was challenged, the, the United States of America never failed. We have never failed to resolve a different, difficult problem. We have never failed to answer the toughest questions. We've never failed to overcome the most insurmountable obstacle. We have never failed to lead the world toward a better life. And that's a message that I want to leave with you. We've got a great country.